Hi everyone, uh, it's now again. Um, sorry, it's been a couple weeks, uh, but I thought I would do a reading tonight. Um, I actually tried to figure out a split screen, uh, but I uh, obviously didn't. But I'll keep working on it. Hopefully, you can, you'll be able to see me and the cards at the same time that way. Uh, sorry if you hear something in the background, um, but yeah, so. I'm also trying to shuffle on screen, uh, cause I prefer seeing that it that way in videos and I'm trying to improve my video skills. So let me know how I'm doing in the comments. Also, if you have any requests for readings uh, that I can cover. In addition to my private readings, again, I offer those. Uh, $30 for a 15-minute pre-recorded reading. Uh, comment below if you would uh, like to get in touch with me uh, to schedule that. I also do astrology charts. Uh, still working out the pricing for that since it really depends on how in-depth you want me to go for that. Okay. So... actually didn't come in. I planned for this video, so I'm trying to think of what would be interesting to cover. Um, I went to experiment with just picking randomly what I want to do uh, instead of having a definite plan. So... Well, I'm thinking, I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Uh, it's almost the weekend, so hang in there, everybody. And... We're going to do something a little different and do a one card pull for uh, what each of the zodiac signs uh, August is going to be like uh, since we're just in the month of August. So we'll start first with Aries, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So, very true to your sign, it looks like you will be starting a new journey, uh, pursuit of some kind. Uh, maybe, uh, with all the pentacles, I'm getting the feeling that you've been putting in a lot of hard work and you're going to be seeing some financial uh, fruits of your labor. Also, if you're going very specific, uh, based on the imagery, you might be doing a lot of gardening, if that's your thing. Or if it's not your thing, but you're thinking of experimenting, it might be good for you in the month of August. Uh, depending on where you live, it might be a good time for planting. I don't really know much about that, um, but just putting it out there. So that's Aries. Taurus, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing um, that you might be spending a lot of time with your family. Um, 
you know, getting back to your roots. You might be helping with an older relative. Uh, you can see the old grandfather, I'm assuming grandfather, sitting in that fancy chair. Um, you know, I'm sure many of you have aging relatives and they might uh, need some help, uh, whether it's financial with the pentacles or just spending more time with them. That could be something that you might be doing in August. All right, I'm going to shuffle a little more. I've gotten several pentacles in a row, so I just want to make sure. Okay, Gemini, Five of Cups. You might, well, it's looking like a rough, rough August uh, card for you, unfortunately. Um, you know, a very dramatic woman crying in her fancy dress in a, in a room by herself. Um, but as you can see, there's one cup still there, and in the background you can see that it's you know, there's a bright day with a nice looking path to go on. Um, so if you guys are, ha you know, having a little bit of a rough time, I understand. I'm with you. And just know that, you know, when, you know, as long as, you know, you, you can get through it and there will be, you know, a bright day waiting for you at the end. Okay, Cancer. Nine of Wands. Oh, you're ready for August. You've got a plan. You're, you know, even though it might be kind of the end of summer, really, I personally think September is still summer until maybe the very end. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're charging forth with the rest of your summer, determined to have fun and accomplish your goals, you know, it's going to be a very, um, fiery, uh, August for you. Okay, then we've got Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. Um, I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're going to be having a lot of fun gatherings with friends and uh, the, the rest of this uh, August and, um, you know, especially if she's the woman in this picture, she's all gussied up. Uh, she's hanging out with her little bird friend and her garden. Um, you know, you might be preparing for some sort of party. Uh, but I'm getting very social energy for you, Virgo. Also, apologies if these zodiac signs are not in order. I'm doing my best to remember the order here. Um, okay, Leo. Seven of Swords. Hmm. You also have a plan. And you're being sneaky about it. Um, but you might ha be taking on more than you, uh, you know, you think you can take on more than you can handle. As you can see, that sword is poking through the bag. Um, you know, so, of course, dream big. Go for your goals. Uh, but I would say, uh... You know, make sure that you've thought everything through and, um, you know, make sure you have a contingency plan, uh, just in case. So that's what I'm getting for you, Leo. Uh, uh, Libra. Let's see 
that's for you. Uh, six of cups. Okay. Um, so it seems that uh, you're going to be looking over some fond memories of you and uh, your loved ones this August. You know, she's looking at that picture frame. Uh, you know, good memories are on the brain for August. Um, you know, maybe you haven't uh, seen someone in a while. I might want to uh, pick up that phone or reach out on social media, email, however you want. Uh, just, you know, maybe reconnect with some people, even if it's not in person. And cherish your memories. Scorpio. My fellow Scorpios. Six of Swords. Okay. Looks like we are traveling against our will in August. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, you might not be traveling, uh, but uh, there could be, especially with all the swords in the water, you could be going through some uh, trials and tribulations this August. Um, you know, or you might be venturing out into something new, uh, but you're a little worried about it. Um, but hang tight. It doesn't look like it's a long journey. Um, so that's, that's all I can say. Okay. Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, and sorry again about my light, I'm trying to fix it. Ah, there we go. I think that helps a little. Ten of Wands. Okay, so you have a lot of burdens on your back, a lot of responsibility this August. Um, you know, I know it can be tough out there especially right now, um, but if you can see, I'm, that could be a village or a huge fancy castle, I'm not sure which is in the distance, uh, but it looks like you're almost there, you just have a little bit more of your journey, and that nice little owl is keeping an eye on you, you know, your loved ones, be that friends, family, someone else they are on your side they're making sure that um you can get to your destination in one piece uh, so you'll be able to set that heavy load down pretty soon okay capricorn yeah huge pentacle right there that you're holding. Uh, it looks like um, you are triumphant in the Queen of Pentacles this August, and um, you know, you've really reaped the rewards of all your hard labor. Um, but don't, um, I'm, you know, I'm, my eyes are really going to that nervous rabbit. Don't be that nervous rabbit. I, I know, um, especially when financially times have been rough recently, it can be very tempting to uh, just kind of freeze, go into freeze mode and hoard everything. Not that saving money is bad, saving money is good, uh, but just, you know, make sure that you're not getting too frozen in terror when it comes to branching out, trying new things. Um, you know, or even investing in good causes that might bring you more luck later. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but it definitely looks like a good August. And they've all fallen down. Okay, 
I'm just going to do the last couple of signs here since these don't want to stay put. having fun. Are you going to be seeing a circus? Trying out some dancing? I'm seeing some serious dance energy out here, Aquarius. Um, if you haven't tried out a dance, uh, you know, trying out dance lessons or joining a dance team or, um, acrobatic yoga, uh, I'm just getting those vibes that you're gonna be doing unconventional fun exercise in August, um, you know, even if exercise isn't usually your thing, I would say, yeah, definitely try out something unusual, I think you'll really love it and you'll have a lot of fun, um, also maybe you're, uh, going to be in a play of some kind, uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. And Pisces, you have Temperance. Oh, that's a nice common card. Nice common card for you, Pisces. Um... I'm kind of getting guardian angel energy from this. Um, you know, they're pouring their energy and hopes for you. And I see you as that little, I don't know what that is, a jar of some kind. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting that they are really looking out for you and uh, they're bringing a lot of joy your way. Um, and, you know, all that calm water, uh, I think life is going to be very good and, uh, serene and easy for you for the month of August. Uh, so, um, if things have been going well for you, awesome, they'll continue to go well. If not, uh, then, you know, look forward to an easier month. And let me see if I should do something else before I close out this reading. Um, yeah, I'm getting the feeling that this reading isn't done, uh, so... I'm going to pull out a couple of collective cards for all of us. Okay, so we have the Hermit. The Queen of Cups. And the Five of Wands. Hmm. Action-packed things are afoot. The Hermit giving me detective energy, perhaps? Or magician? Some sort of Merlin-Sherlock combo? And then the Scheming Queen? And the Town Rally? Okay, so I'm reading this in a couple of ways. Both could be very relevant. In, in terms of politics, uh, since I know quite a few states are having their uh, primary elections right now, um, I'm definitely seeing some scheming political energy that's gonna 
uh, result in, you know, public displays of protest. Pretty standard for the United States right now, honestly. Um, and... I'm also getting that for my creatives out there, this is a great time for action-packed stories that you might be writing. Um, if you've been having writing block lately, especially when it comes to, you know, driving forward the plot, coming up with interesting struggles for your characters to go through, um, I think this is going to be a good month for you creatively. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm getting. I'm gonna try and be back soon for another reading. Um, I'm gonna have a busy weekend, uh, but hopefully after that I will be back with more. Uh, and again, I know I said it earlier, uh, but I do offer, um, private tarot readings, astrology readings, um, you know, I'm also thinking of starting, um, some sort of advice thing, um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you want to see further in the comments, and have a good night.